the target audience for this was even younger than I expected. Yet there are some serious adult humor moments, which I admittedly laughed at. The Justice League designs are odd looking and Batman is an absolute standout. He's just underutilized, but when he's on screen, Keanu Reeves just nails it. I laughed out loud at much more of the jokes than I expected, even if a lot of the others didn't land at all. Kevin Hart as Ace is pretty much perfect and his jokes are fairly intelligent. He is the most memorable, touching scene in a flashback that hit me hard as a father. It was a gut punch I appreciated and the themes that they evoked with it. But I just wish the film would have focused more on this portion rather than the depowering of the lead character, which is all too common of a trope with overpowered characters. You don't need to depower them to make them relatable or interesting even if it makes sense within an arc. It's just something I've seen many times before and I didn't feel like I needed it again here, but it's fine. I appreciate all the little references, Easter eggs, and overly meta jokes to DC lore. I love it when being a fan is rewarded. It's one of the best parts of this movie. There's also something off about it at times. Lots of big actors here as voice actors lends to a feeling that they don't always seem to have the training they should as voice only roles. Some of the character designs are strange as I mentioned, an example being Superman's hands. They just look tiny compared to the rest of his body. The runtime feels particularly long for a kid's movie, and I honestly got bored and checked my phone more than I'd like to admit as I was the only one in the theater. And there's a key specific moment where the movie feels like it's over, but it keeps going. Being as predictable as ever, you can figure out which plot device comes back to resolve the ultra ridiculous finale. I know what I signed up for here, but wow, that was nuts. It was a lot, even for me. It's overly silly, and that's okay. Kids will love it. I can enjoy that, but some of the execution left me rolling my eyes. Others made me laugh out loud, like I mentioned. Then a couple had me scratching my head, like the cursing turtle that they beeped out a bunch of times. I laughed, but I was confused at why it's in a kid's movie, and of course, I'm always for using the classic John Williams and Danny Elfman themes for Batman and Superman. It's cute, endearing, fun, but somewhat undercooked. I'd watch a second one. That post credit scene seems to be hinting at something beyond this movie and the works at DC. And why do two credit scenes exist in a movie you know kids won't sit through the credits on? Do kids sit through credits and or do their parents rush them out? I know Marvel has changed things, but that got me thinking. How many people that once saw this movie actually saw the credit scenes? Oh, and the jabs at Marvel, you know they had fun with. I give DC's League of Super Pets three out of five stars. Thanks so much for watching. Got a bunch of reviews coming up. Gonna do something special for October. The Hocus Pocus movies. I just watched the first one for the first time. So like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more coming soon. And while you're at it, remember, always look for the good.